Hey guys, it's the Spectrum here, and welcome to my first ever Black Ops commentary. So I'm going to give you some tips this video on how to do well in a game of Domination on Summit. So, you can see here that uh, I am running with some team members. Uh, I'm actually running with two team members. One's called iPy Vibes, one's called Brigden91. But I will be giving you just some tips on how to run solo, and that's where the majority of my tips in this game will come. You can do everything in this game solo. Apart from this, my teammate Vibes managed to pick up a blackbird in the first 30 seconds, so let's see how he did it. So he starts off with his epic uh, nade spot from A to C, which is so crucial in Summit. Manages to pick someone up on the C flag. Runs through the main war room, which is going to be one of the main traffic area. Picks up two guys with some epic hip fire, you know, very, very good with the org. Goes to this epic head clipping spot and takes out three more guys who just have no idea he's there. Obviously bad players. Comes back, uses the stairs for cover and then Killing picks up the seventh story. kill for his blackbird. So back here, I'm using the cover to cap B, which is something you always, always want to do. It sounds obvious, but there's so many times in Black Ops with the, way the map's design that you can't actually um, use cover on the B flag. So whenever there is cover, you use it to your advantage. And now here begins the main strategy. This is something you can actually do on your own, uh, despite the uh, way many players will tell you. Uh, you can spawn trap quite effectively on your own. Spawn trapping is a huge part of uh, domination. You know exactly which direction the, the opponents are coming from. And some people say, oh, spawn trapping is just a way to get your kill streaks up. It isn't. Oh, get turned on. And yeah, then there's that guy who keeps killing me in the back. But I'll talk about him later. Anyway, spawn trapping. You, the main idea is that you push them back far enough so they can't get to the B flag like that guy did there. Of course, you always end up spawn flipping, which is where they appear behind you. Never a good thing, which is what happened there. So you saw earlier that one lone guy managed to cap the flag on his own, which kind of proves that you don't always have to be running a team just to do well. He managed to sneak through, get a decent kill. I mean, it's annoying when you get killed in the back, but, you know, I will always preach that you want to get unfair kills. So, what we're trying to do is just push them back into a main spawn area so they cannot do anything against us. We either want to push them back here into the C spawn, which is the power grid, or we want to push them to the A spawn, which is the helicopter pad spawn. These two are the main spawns, there are others, but this is where the enemy team are generally going to spawn. See there, I, I had no chance of winning that gunfight, which in all fairness, you know, he set that up well. Whether it was just by chance or whether he meant to, but I get my revenge kill, so it's all good. But pushing guys back into the spawn, which is something you see me do a lot on Summit, because it's such an easy map, you can do it by yourself. All you have to do is know where they're going to be spawning, and know the main traffic routes. If you go and control those traffic routes, which I'm trying to do here, I was afraid since we lost C, they were all going to suddenly rush through that door, but they didn't appear fast enough, and I wouldn't have got this kill if he wasn't so busy shooting down spy planes, and the, once again, shoots me in the back. See, here's an example of one of the random spawns, but we are triple cap, so it makes some sense. Coming back... I see these guys on the radar, predict their fight. I wouldn't normally go to them, but he was completely oblivious, and so was he, so I managed to pick them both off pretty easily. This was a very, very lucky, aggressive gameplay for me. Normally I don't do this well if I'm running around, but Summit, that's an exception. Oh, so this was a funny moment. I saw these guys coming down the uh, the narrow choke point here in the, between the two buildings. I thought, yeah, let's get an explosive kill with the law. I didn't realise they were wearing flat jacket until... BAM! direct impact with the law and that was the same guy who shot me in the back twice and he rage quit after that it, it, it's such a good moment when that happens so just dump the nade palm down nade palm's probably my favourite aggressive kill streak um, just because it's objective as well you can kind of say the dogs are the best because you know they actually help spawn trap unlike the chopper gun which just flips spawns but I quite like the nade palm it's nice you know, I always like the air strike kill streaks, but uh, I don't use it too much anymore because so many people are starting to use flat jacket again, which is a good thing. Even I started to use flat jacket again, so I can walk through my own napalm, and it's just much much better. Scavenger, which I'll talk about later, and don't ask what happened there. That was ridiculous. 
I actually quite like the Org, which is the gun I'm using. If you're not familiar with Black Ops or just not familiar with the guns yet, the Org is basically the same as the FAMAS, which is, as we all know, the best gun in the game. But the Org, since the FAMAS patch, I don't know. I I just seem to be able to control it easier. Maybe it's because I use the Org like pre FAMAS patch anyway. But a lot of people say, oh, the Org's got ridiculous recoil. Well, he doesn't. It just has a bit to the left. They added that in on the FAMAS. So, I don't see why people complain. Oh, ninja kill. Yeah. But uh, how that guy didn't see him, I don't know. And that just shows you how powerful hip fire is. Especially in this game. Here's another good tactic. That guy would have easily beaten me in that gunfight, but I went round. He didn't expect me to come from a different direction. Always do that if it's possible. Bring in a second name palm of this game. They don't often get too, too many kills in a palm, which is why I kind of stop using it. But it's still good to sort of push them back into their spawn. This one does actually ki pick up a couple of kills, Killing just a lot later three. than I was expecting it to. Moving on, I'm going to flank this route just because I need to get aggressive, and I swear Damn. down that was my bullets that killed him, and not the napalm, but whatever. So you'll see me come back this way often. It should really be going round to the right, because then I get set up for that guy, that ghost guy, way at the back of the map. Around the other way, there are some boxes which you can easily head glitch over, which are really, really, really powerful spots. Uh, just because you can pick people off so often. But, no, yeah, I was feeling a little arrogant at the time. It happens. Once again, we're coming back this way. Just you, you need to keep aggressive. You need to force them back. This is the most crude. I say crude. It's the most basic form of spawn trapping. It, you know, it's just the way it's done. So that's a tip. These are the places you want to be on summit. So at this point, they have absolutely no hope. I mean, that guy's trying to flank up, but I, you know, we've got an SR up, saw him coming. I'm not even going to let these guys get through the aim room. You just don't need to. Just defending it, that guy, I don't know what. At this point in the game, for most guys, if you're doing well, you can just focus on getting kills, which is what we're pretty much doing. Domination eventually just turns into a, a free mode TDM eventually. Now, this gameplay is quite old. The setup I'm using, um, I actually don't use anymore. I'm using Scavenger, Slide of Hand, and Tatmas Pro. I still use Tatmas Pro, I still use Slide of Hand, I just don't use Scavenger anymore. Oh, here's a good thing. Don't... Cloud, cloud? Don't crowd around your um, teammates. If you do, you're going to get put in a double kill like that. Anyway, scavenger I don't use anymore because with all grenades and C4 and claymores, if you look at what flat jacket protects you from, you know it's just so much better than every other perk in that tier. I, knew, I mean, I know people go on about Ghost being so overpowered. It's not overpowered. It's just it's easily abusable and. I might talk about that one video, how Flat Jacket is just so much better than Ghost. I want, I really want to stress that to people. And you can see my aim goes a bit out the window here. But I don't know, I've got, I've had several headshots this game, I think it's been pretty good. So the game's winding down, guy brings his chopper gunner in, but it's too late because I mean everyone is just, you know, I mean we've got a few seconds on, get that guy and I pick this guy off. Last stand, and that ends the game, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. The final score was 42 and 7, and I got three caps and five defends. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and maybe you're in a favorite. But for now, guys, if it's a spectrum, peace.